A 24-year-old man is facing charges in the death of an SIU Edwardsville student. Police arrested Michael Gordon in connection with the death of Taylor Clark. Clark is the student who listed his car for sale recently on Craigslist. Authorities say the two met Monday at a trucking company in Hazelwood, Missouri, where Gordon worked to talk about the car. Investigators believe Clark was shot shortly afterwards and accused Gordon of hiding Clark's body in a nearby wooded area. And we have more now on a story that we first broke online late last night. Some students at Southern Illinois University say a professor charged with battering a student gave some pretty unusual lessons in the days leading up to the alleged crime. According to new documents we've obtained from the university, the professor is now on unpaid administrative leave and banned from campus following the incident and for a series of complaints by students of unusual behavior. Giacomo Luca has more. 53-year-old SIU engineering professor Alan Weston was arrested for allegedly pushing a student in the dean's office on April 23rd. But in the days leading up to that arrest, police documents show students' complaints against Weston for, quote, unusual, end quote, behavior. One student reported that Weston allegedly talked about moles that caused sinkholes and killed people that the government was spying on him through antennas in his thumbs, even accusing students of selling tests to support Chicago gangs. Now, a student I spoke with that was in Weston's class and observed the alleged odd behavior said Weston's a very intelligent man and that his professor never acted out of the ordinary until that week. I've made numerous attempts to contact Weston through email and even knocking on the door of his Marion home, but have yet to receive a reply. Weston has been charged with battery and is expected to appear in Jackson County Court on May 15th. Do have a breaking news update on an outbreak of tornadoes that tore through parts of uh, the Midwest today. Reports of twisters touching down in Kansas, Nebraska and Oklahoma. Take a look. This is some of the damage in the Bridge Creek, Oklahoma area. You can see telephone poles leaning and power lines are down and an aerial view of the town shows just how widespread that damage is with dozens of homes being destroyed by a presumed tornado there. Meanwhile, in nearby Moore, Oklahoma, the heavy rain has left a lot of flooding stretches of two interstate States had to be shut down because of the storm. The good news so far, and we're knocking on wood here, we are hearing about no reports of people being injured or killed.